Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Welcome to another smoky day in Winnipeg. I was just noticing the sunrise. <laughs> yeah, it's a smoky, hazy sunrise. It's not fog, it's smoke. Been another bad year here in Canada. All right. I've been up for a while already. I uh, started out my day sitting in front of the computer, checking my email and what have you. And uh, you know how when you close your email down, at least my computer, uh, Microsoft, because it's a it's a micro I use Microsoft. Uh, it it gives you little interesting things that it wants you to click on so that you'll see advertising. <clears throat> well, it, it, it mentioned somebody else who I had known as an actor, as a famous person, had died. And in and I started thinking about that, and I was thinking just one after the other after the other, people that I, that I knew, that I, that I think of as being young people, they got old and died. <laughs> And I, I don't know if I was depressed or what, but I started feeling very uh, kind of pensive or something. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't I was depressed. I, I just kind of made you stop to think. And then somehow I got, I, I remembered my a saying, and I don't know why this triggered in my mind, but there was a saying that my mother used to use a lot. And you would think that because she used it a lot, I should remember it verbatim, but I don't. I just remember it had something to, to do with, if you have sufficient, be content. And I, and uh, yeah, and she used, used that a lot. And uh, what got, got me maybe thinking about that was that, you remember way back, uh, a year and a half ago when I bought my e-bike from Amazon and I got it and when I went out I remember the the first few times I went out and the, the weather was nice and I was just enjoying the the fresh air and everything and I was so so uh, I don't know filled with joy <laughs> yeah I, I, I remember the one day I came back from the from my ride and I looked up and in, into the security camera here at the door and I said that was so much fun and that's really the way I felt at that moment I wasn't putting that on uh, okay now be content right so uh, about three four months later down the road last last summer like a year ago uh, I thought you know I, I could get a scooter and, uh, you know, I, uh, the Honda dealer here in Winnipeg had scooters on sale. And so I bought one. And I scooted around on it last year and had a good time. Then towards the end of the, towards the end of the uh, uh, season, uh, I thought, why don't I get a motorcycle? And so I ended up getting what I've got now. Now, I guess where I'm going with this is that right now in my bike box is a fantastic bike. But I'm not satisfied. It is more than sufficient. It is more than sufficient, but I am not satisfied. I am, I am uh, pursuing possibly upgrading to a better bike. Uh, maybe what I should do is just, you know, keep what I've got and, and enjoy the, you know, the nice weather and getting out and the fresh air and the joy of that. Be satisfied with that. I think that maybe what I will do is I will, I will continue on this journey, you might say, to upgrade my bike. 
in that I want to see how much extra it would, would cost me to do this. There are far more things against uh, upgrading to a, a bigger bike. Like a lot, of, a lot of you know, I'm thinking of maybe upgrading to the uh, Honda Goldwing. I'm pretty sure I could handle it. On the other hand, maybe I can't. I have never actually tried to drag my leg over the back of a Goldwing. I can on the on the Rebel here. It works out pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm not having any problems. But the Goldwing is a little higher. It's a little wider. And it's uh, about 280 pounds heavier. Uh... I don't know this this might not be a good idea it might be it might be a dream because I am not content with what I've got and like I like I said the 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 the, the rebel in the bike box is a fantastic bike power like you wouldn't believe uh, okay yeah be be satisfied when you have sufficient uh, <laughs> That's one of my faults, and I, I, I always want more and more and more and more. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was doing my videoing with so those of you who are camera buffs, give you another example. My videoing with a with a Nikon D850. It's a, it's a pretty good camera. Then the Z9 came out, which is what I'm looking at right now, and uh, well, it does a little better. It does uh, 4K in, at 60 frames a second, and that's what I wanted to upgrade to. But the 30 frames a second would have been okay too. <laughs> uh, yeah, never, never satisfied. I was wanting more and more and more and better and better and better. Uh, okay, that's, that's one of my faults. <laughs> one of my many faults. Another fault is that I sometimes forget to take the mirror, which is right here, And check my face before I push record because being as that I'm, I'm uh, shooting in 4k a very sharp 4k too if you're watching it on a big screen you're gonna see anything that might be out of place like even a little tiny hair that's somewhere where it's not supposed to be <laughs> you're, you're gonna see it and that happened yesterday in one of the shots I apologize for that. That was annoying. It bothered me too. Now maybe maybe you're watching this on on your uh, cell phone and you w would not have seen that. <laughs> anyway, oh what an awful opening! My 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 opening remarks lately have have, have been really gone downhill. <laughs> okay. Uh, let, let's get on here today. I think I ended up yesterday saying how I was going to uh, paint these parts so we could do something. And you know, I thought, uh, when I said that, I thought I'll probably come back to the model table in the evening and just do that. But I didn't. I got doing other stuff. And I think maybe what I'll do is I'm just going to go ahead now and, uh, and paint those, get it done. We'll get back here and... Uh, and, and, and this, this piece here where we have to put the, uh, get my eyes back on here. I, I, I don't need these to see distance. I see distance, I've mentioned this before, a razor sharp. It's just that I can't see up close anymore. Okay, uh, all right, so we want to get our, our V29, our Photo Etch 13, which we have painted. It's all ready to go here. And uh, the V16s, they're painted, ready to go. You know, put them together. I think that that is the only thing uh, that we have to uh, assemble other than these pipes that need to be painted. Um, yeah, and the little taps, like I mentioned yesterday, I've got them over sitting on top of my mantel clock right now. At least I think that's where they are. Well, they're close to it anyway. Uh, <laughs> I got them in a tuna fish tin and uh, yeah we're gonna put them on very very last I, I think that uh, I should be able to 
do that one of the last things, if, if not the last thing I do when we assemble the module. I think it can possibly be done. Otherwise, we're going to end up breaking them off. Uh, even even the uh, running that very, very fine wire, you know, for the, for the LEDs, if one of those little wires was to catch on one of those taps, it'll break it off. It, it's that fragile. Uh, looks, looks good, though, if I could just manage to not break them off. Okay, I think I've said break them off enough, haven't I? Uh, let's let's uh, get to work here and uh, get these uh, uh, painted. Uh, I think we need the uh, number 77. Um, yeah, let's tr let's try and let's try and get make some progress here today. And uh, as far as the uh, as far as the uh, gold wing goes, uh, for those of you who are interested, and maybe you might maybe a motorcycle buff, uh, I think what I, I'm going to do is get a hold of Bill Cycle and uh, and just let them know that the chances of me getting it. Are, are pretty slim but I do want to I do want to see you know how much extra it, w it would cost me uh, also I would I think it'd be a good idea that when they right now they have two of them sitting in the crate exactly what I want exactly what I want and they're they're sitting in the shipping crate but they're they're not on the floor where a person could go up to it and in my case, drag my leg over it, and that, that's what it would be. I, I don't swing my leg over the bike, I drag it over. And I was looking at this particular bike, and there are no sharp, protruding parts that, that you could get, catch your pant leg on when you swing and drag it over. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, when when they get one together, maybe I'll drive out there to Bill's and uh, and just see can I get on it. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe it's not a good idea because uh, then I'm going to want it. Let's let's paint our parts. Okay, this one is going to be the hardest one to do because I've got to get my, right now I don't have any paint on my brush, but I've got to get it, I've got to get it in behind here and paint that and not touch the red wheel. So, uh, let's see what's going to happen here. I'm going to, just going to sort of flood it on. I don't think I'm going to try and paint the shaft up to the wheel. I'm just going to... No, this this back side... I don't know, can I get... can I get up to the... Okay, this side right here, I believe, is going to be glued onto the, onto the, uh, this part of it. I think this this part that I'm touching right now is, is going to be, or almost touching. Is, well, we'll paint it anyway, just in case. The the glue will dissolve the paint. Okay, and it it could be that what's going to hold it in place is going to be the, the shaft which I'm painting right now. As I, as I mentioned, I'm just sort of flooding it on.
when it when it dries it will look better Okay, I think that's basically completely covered here. Okay, let's, uh, oh, I can see a little bit of red underneath there. See if I can get, get underneath, a, bring my brush in at a little lower angle hanger here and just try and get that there. I think I got it. Okay, I think it's uh, it's covered now. Okay, we'll let that dry. Okay, this one's going to be a lot easier. broken. Okay. I, I think I've got it all. Okay, while well, I was setting up here, probably about two minutes ago, Max and Missy headed off down the road, so I gotta be, you might say, vigilant here. Now this this piece here, the S36, it says install last. So I'm I'm guessing that it probably means that if we install it first, we're not going to be able to get this piece on, which is this right here. Let's see if I can move in just a little bit here. Get this out of the way. Okay. Let's get this in the right orientation. And it appears that okay, we, we've already glued this this piece on. We've we've already glued it on. Now where are the holes that line up? I think I see them. There's a hole there and a hole back there. Those holes line up. So clearly that's, that's where this is supposed to go. Okay. Yeah, I can see where if we were, were to put this in place, it would be hard to get this in place. I wonder if I should maybe recompose the camera just a little bit here. Try and get this in the right hole, like that. There, it almost falls into place, doesn't it? Uh, just, just let me get my head out of the light and uh, recompose and move in just a little closer here. Okay, I just realized I didn't have a piece of bacon here for you. I gotta you get it. Did you visit this morning? I sure do. I just gotta get a piece of bacon going on here. I was uh, not prepared. Okay, now we don't want to 
We don't want to be giving you too much here. Wait, wait till I get my camera ready. There, there you go. There you go. Okay, let's go visit with Max. Oh, you can sit on my lap and keep me warm here. You're such a good dog. It is a little cool, isn't it? Right now, anyway. If the chairs were wet, with your permission, we we're just going to walk in and sit in the kitchen. Oh, do you want to do that? Uh, no, uh, the chairs are dry this morning. Oh, oh okay. Might as well be outside, but I was going to say. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> she loves who she loves. Yeah. Yeah. Some people don't get anything but the bark and the teeth. <laughs> I don't know how she decides all of that. Yeah, she's looking good this morning. Your eyes are looking good this morning, Missy. Yeah. Yeah, your eyes are looking yes, good. Despite the smoke, the smoke last night was plus 10. I've never seen it even 7. And last night it was 10 plus at around, you know, 10 o'clock. Well, they're this saying... This morning it's 4. They're saying that... Uh, even people without allergies and, and whatnot can be harmed by by this smoke. Oh yeah, it fills up the lungs with carbon. Yeah. It's a can, uh, carcinogen among other things. Well, one of the viewers was wondering uh, how long have, have uh, we been neighbors? I, I couldn't remember, like what year 2010. was it? 210 you moved okay 14, so years. 14 years ago okay all right and you and i met because you came out and chatted with me when i was sitting here watching the cement uh harden <laughs> after that company came up put in the cement driveway yeah that's it i remember i remember you coming over and wondering if i, I had a surveyor certificate to, 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 to know where the, the line was? Oh yeah, that was before, yeah. Yeah. And you did. Yeah, yeah, I, I still got it. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing the way the, the engineer came and put in two stakes. And he says, we got uh, a three degree drop away from the house up to this point. And then I think he said a nine degree drop down to the road. It was fascinating. And yet, even though he just put in those two wooden stakes with the, the painted mark on it. Yeah. The, the people who came in and played in the boards and came to it exactly. And Missy the dog. Missy the dog. Okay. Let's continue on here. Um, maybe the other tweezers might be better. Okay, we'll move in just a little bit here. Um, I wonder if it would show up better if I put the spotlight on. Let's try this. Uh, yes and no. Yeah, it's somewhat better. The, my background isn't quite... Um, put something there to offset the uh, automatic exposure here. Okay. Um, it's almost in the right place right now, isn't it? It looks... Yeah, it, it is in the right place. I wonder if I could just get a little bit of uh, extra thin. You know, we don't, have to gl we don't have to glue it to the sides of the cylinders all the way along. There's, gonna, there's not going to be anything that's going to catch on to that thing and pull it out. So, uh... Hmm. 
Now this is probably going to bleed, isn't it? Okay, I think that's going to be all right. Then we'll just let that, uh, yeah, that, that, it's not going to fall out of there, you know, unless the person was to catch it on something and, you know, pull it out. Okay, now we got this piece in. Uh, where's our manual here? And uh, check it out, see what else we can put on. V, as in Victor, 26. I was hoping it would just sort of fall in there, but it's... I, I don't think it's supposed to go this end first. I think it's... Yeah, I think it's supposed to plug in the, the way I was trying to do it there. Could be that that hole is... Okay, maybe if I was to... Uh, to soften this... It's not quite in that hole, is it? There it is. Okay, now, believe it or not, when when that glue evaporates, it's going to look like a weld. Just get that all the way down. Yeah, I think that looks perpendicular. Maybe it could come this way just a little bit. S, as in Sam, or Stanley, and Stanley's in the garbage right now. Okay. Now, the, the other end of this that you can't see that goes out of sight, it doesn't really plug into anything, it just sort of... Okay, what will be the best way to do this here? Yeah. Now, once again, if we don't catch, you know, anything on that, it's it's going to stay there. That's all it's going to take. You know, I just looked in the monitor. I should have used my macro lens. You can hardly see that. Sorry about that. Okay, I think that's where the other end is supposed to end up, on top of the block like that. I could have had it a little bit more to the left, but uh, it is what it is. S52. I don't have any glue in here yet. We're just doing a dry run. Don't have the angle quite right. Let's turn it a little bit more like this. And get the tweezer out of the way. Yeah, I think I can place that. Okay.
Looks like it's leaning back a little bit. Hmm, it's not quite great here. There. From my perspective, it looks a lot better. I'm looking more straight down on it. Okay, now we want to get this orientated the way it shows in the manual here, and I've already checked it out, and it, I believe that it goes like this. And we'll move in a bit. got a problem here. This thing's in the way. Um, yeah, this, this uh, cylinder that looks like it might be like a screw-on oil filter or something, but that's probably not what it is. I don't think they had those back in the early 40s it's supposed to go like the, yeah this this is in the way here I'm gonna have to push stop here and figure out what's what's wrong okay I checked my manual I found out what was wrong I was trying to plug this into the wrong holes I was trying to plug it into this hole here and it should have been going into this one right here um, okay so, so that explains why there's one, two, three, and there's one, two, three. So, yeah, I, I, I knew that I was probably doing something wrong here. Okay, right now it's just, you might say, a friction fit. And, and it could be that if I take this whole thing maybe and just turn it back about 30 degrees, and we'll let gravity be our friend here, and then I'll just, uh, yeah, it's a little bit awkward to try and glue it like this. I'm just going to take it out again. We know how, We know where it's supposed to go now anyway. Now, once again, this is very fragile. I don't want it leaning back against this cylinder, whatever it is. Get 
I'm going to just sort of eyeball it in from this direction here. Looks like maybe it should come out just a little bit here. Okay, I think that's going to be okay once it dries. Okay, now this V16, it has some detail on it. You can see there's a little whatever there and something right there. Maybe if we had the macro lens on, you might be able to see it. And it would also help if it didn't roll away. Um, I'm noticing that these things didn't paint very well. They're uh, more, a little bit, uh, you can see the plastic on one side. Okay, now, yeah, this is going to have to be, I don't think anybody would notice if we got it wrong, but uh, let's try and get it right. Okay, while it is true, we are going to be putting these parts together in step 42 here. We don't actually place them until step 43. I just wanted to see where exactly they went, and I was pretty sure I already knew they, they actually mounted those holes that I was originally trying to put that fuel rail into by mistake. Okay, I'm going to call it quits for today. Uh, yeah, I want to maybe uh, go to the uh, insurance place, the uh, licensing and insurance place for our vehicles and find out how much more it would cost per year. <laughs> Here we go. To... Uh, to license and insure a Honda Goldwing. Uh, yeah, no use uh, jumping from the frying pan into the fire, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I want to, before I do anything, I want to know all the all the cons. I already know the pros. The pros are it'd be nicer to ride around on, but uh, there, I got a feeling there's going to be too many things against it so but I, I just want to know what all those things are and exactly you know exactly the costs and so on so anyway yeah I'm gonna call it quits here for today and Missy the dog is still in this thing we got to get that edited out uh, I haven't checked the sunrise yet there's a lot of little things I like to do uh, might not mean anything to you but it does to me so <laughs> thanks for watching everybody all being well we're gonna see you tomorrow